Hello, welcome back to Seawolf Den's RPG a Day 2019. Today is a very special word, to me at least, because of the type of games I run. Today's word is space. To me, space is a many things. First, if you say that word, first of all, my mind goes to the intro to Star Trek. Big Star Trek fan, and William Shatner saying space, the final frontier, is ingrained in my mind. That gets to what kind of games I run. I much prefer science fiction over fantasy. Even in the books I read, uh, I tried to get into fantasy when I was a kid, when I was in high school, and a little bit beyond, I read or tried to read Lord of the Rings. I could not get past the Two Towers. It was a difficult read for me. I did read The Hobbit after a very long period of time. Uh, I got into Dragonlance, but I felt like that was derivative and kind of redundant. And then I read Thomas Covenant Chronicles, which in and of itself is, is, is a darker fantasy, and I never, ever liked the character Thomas Covenant. He was a very difficult character to like and to relate to. And then the fantasy world was, yet again, another Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth clone. So science fiction felt more of a fit for me from the beginning. Going into space and its vastness was attractive to me. Movies that show the vastness, the size of space, that respects the stellar distances, like Star Wars does not. The space just fascinates me because it represents to me endless possibilities. Yep, magic can exist because of I'm going to mess this up, but I don't remember who said it. Maybe it was Isaac Asimov. Even, even science can be advanced so much it appears as magic to more primitive civilizations. Love that concept. I also get into, I'm going to relate this to the next word tomorrow, word ancient. Let's just say space is ancient. And from a humanity's perspective, we're a blip in the overall age of this, of this universe. So, what else went on? Because it didn't just start with us and our perceptions and stuff. And then, how humanity approaches it and how humanity, for other reasons, takes on the challenge perceives themselves in relation to what they find, how they overcome their nature. That's my first thoughts of space from a convention organizer's point of view. Space is, and this is not an easy transition, it's a completely different subject, is how you organize your space for your, your convention. Most I've ever tried to organize is 26,000 square feet. In the grand scheme of things, is not a whole lot. Gen Con has hundreds of thousands of square feet, most of which I think the majority of that is the dealer's room. I guess the Dungeons and Dragons room is pretty big. They probably delegate each region of space. I spend a lot of time, though, managing the space I have for conventions, mostly to, to, in hopes of managing the noise. It doesn't always work, especially when everybody wants to run on Saturday afternoon. It's a challenge, and I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. May 2019, coming up in November, shameless plug. Go to justusproductions.com and check us out. 
another subject on space is in relation to that. How you manage your home game space for the longest time, for 20 years, I think I had the most ideal space for gaming. At least for my style of gaming at the time. I didn't game with miniatures and I didn't game with big maps that I laid on a table or terrain. I just used a chalkboard. We gamed in classrooms for 20 years. We had a gaming group that I've mentioned before. It started in college and we, we stuck together for long after college. And we were able for a time to borrow rooms from, from the school. The seating was they were, they were classroom desks, but at least semi-comfortable. Sometimes we were in lecture halls, which were a lot more comfortable. The lecture halls were ideal. They were ideal because they had audio-video stuff that I could use sometimes. Nice chalkboards. When they started putting in whiteboards, those, those were even better because you could use multiple colors. When I stopped that group, or when we finally ended, I had to come up with, or I had to become more comfortable with running at home and running in somebody's house. And that's not always ideal for me. So I tend to bring a lot of stuff. Now, with the terrain that I'm building on a regular basis, that's even more difficult. So now I run out of my own house, and I manage the space as best I can. Originally, I thought it would be difficult to distract me, especially with the kids running around. As they got older, they got easier to manage. My living room's not that bad. If you get a couple of folding tables and move some stuff around, it's not that bad. I've become used to it. I do miss the classrooms, but I, I enjoy playing with miniatures. Playing in classrooms made miniature play almost impossible. As I started leaning towards that kind of play and enjoying that kind of visuals, playing in classrooms is not as ideal. There's my thoughts on space and RPGs. To be quite honest, I tend to do very little prep for these things. I just put some thought into what I want to say and then I ramble. I hope someone gets value out of it. This being words and not questions makes it more difficult to prepare, but I hope there's some value. So until next time, Seek the wolf in thyself.